Hey guys, so on today's video, we are gonna try the strongest coffee that Nespresso has to offer. If you follow me for some time now, then you know that I am not keen on those stronger sides of coffee. But lately, I've been enjoying some. Like Brazil is nice, Genova Levanto is nice, and those are kind of like 9 and 10. But the ones that we're gonna try today are higher than that. And I thought this would be fun just to see if you guys are curious too as how they taste. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this video. I have three. So I have from the Virtual line, Diabolito. I have Inspiracione Napoli. And then I have the Palermo Cazar. And these two are from the original line. I'm gonna start with Diabolito because Palermo Cazar, I believe is a 12. Napoli is 13 and this Diabolito is 11. And it's a single shot of espresso, intense and powerful, spicy roasted. It says it's a high intensity espresso for coffee aficionados. Energized by highly roasted Robusta and Brazilian Arabica. I like Brazilian one. With an aroma that hints at oak wood and leather. Balanced is achieved with a creamy texture. That's all it has to say. I know some of you guys like to add these like espresso shots to your regular cups of coffee, which is called a red eye. I can I can see how this would work on that. And I've never had a red eye, but I could see how it's popular or how you can kind of give your little coffee pod a boost with a shot of espresso. But we're tasting it without all that fancy smanshy stuff. So let's brew this one i'll try it black <laughs> and then we'll put some milk and see if we can salvage it but who knows i might like it black no we'll see let's try it pot in i'm using all of my bodum pavina glasses these are eight ounces perfect for espresso doesn't i mean i guess it does smell a little bit bitter like you could almost smell the bitterness it doesn't smell like anything in particular i almost have to read back to see what i just said it was gonna be yeah intense okay it's a spicy roasted it definitely smells like that like a spiciness here it goes oh my god i haven't even i haven't even like i haven't even swallowed it and i could already feel that spiciness going through the roof of my tongue. Oh. Who does to you guys that like black coffee? Because I just can't do it. <laughs> Dang, that's spicy. Oh my god. Guys, this is super bitter and spicy. Definitely spicy. It's almost peppery. Maybe the milk will kill that spiciness. So let me, I'm not even gonna drink it because I just can't. Usually the black coffee is like bearable. I'll keep drinking it, but let's go get some milk. For milk, I've been using the Chobani Extra Creamy, which is really nice. It almost feels like I'm drinking whole milk. I'm gonna put this in the frother and then we'll throw it in the coffee. And while that froths, I'm just gonna taste it a tiny bit more. Oh, oh. <laughs> that one's even stronger. Gosh, no. It's definitely like smoky, this one. I wonder if they're all like that. They can't possibly be all like that, right? I know nothing about strong coffee, clearly. Don't ask me. So I'm just waiting for the coffee, the milk. All right, I have a lot of milk in here, but I'm not gonna, like I'm gonna use it for the other ones, so. Just a little bit more. Okay. Give it a little mix. Oh, it definitely, it's still bitter though. Definitely like made it a little more mild. Mm. 
Okay, it's less bitter, but you could definitely taste. I probably have milk on my lips. You could definitely taste like a smokiness to it. So if you like smoky, dark, full body coffee, this is it. With milk, it definitely got rid of that spiciness. I just didn't like it. But it's smoky. What would you even pair this with? If you guys like that Diabolito, what do you pair it with? I'm trying to think. Oh, hold on. I think I have roasted caramel or toasted caramel. I think that might be good. Let me try it. Hold on. This one is from Pink House Alchemy. I've talked about this brand so much. They are they make really good syrups. And so this is their toasted caramel. I figured toasted, dark roasted. I don't know. We'll just put a little bit and see if we can. Okay, I can definitely do it with syrup. The sugar just kind of gives it a bit more sweetness away from that bitterness. Oh, but it's still kicking. <laughs> it's still kicking. All right, no, it's definitely a no-go for me. I think that was one of my like sample ones that I got. So I'm glad I tried it, but I won't be repurchasing it at all. The next one that I want to try, and this one, one of my followers actually sent it to me. This one is Palermo Cazar. And she no longer had the original machine, and I think that's why she sent them to me. And I'm kind of glad that I have it now because I want to try it in front of the camera for you guys. So let me read a little bit of what Palermo has to say. Okay, Palermo Cazar is stronger, intense, and syrupy. What, is, what does that mean? I feel like I'm a newbie to Nespresso with all these um, dark ones. So you can use this as ristretto and then Lungo, not Lungo, Espresso. The aromatic profile is intense and syrupy, and then there it goes again. Aromatic notes is spicy and woody. Intense and creamy, and it literally has the same description. High bitterness, high body. Long and dark roast, inspired by the coming together of Sicilian coffee artistry with African and Arabian heritage guarantees to spice things up. The audacious bitterness and peppery notes leaping out through the thick syrupy body. They're suggesting to use this one as a spicy pistachio macchiato. So I might just try it with pistachio syrup just to see what, what the big deal is. Both the intense syrupy coffee and the nuts and spices of this recipe bring an unbeatable character to the cup. So that's how we'll try it with the milk. I'll add a little bit of pistachio syrup, but let's brew this one. Spiciness, woodiness, bring it, bring it. Here we go. Oh my god, it smells like I'm smelling something like a cigarette that was put out and it's still thriving with smoke. That's what it smells like. Oh my god. Okay. That does it again. The same thing where you kind of like inhale through your mouth and it like does something to the roof of your tongue. what this one didn't punch me in the face this one's not bad what the heck the one from her tool line was not it at all this one is okay this one's not bad yeah it's definitely smoky but it's not bad. Maybe it's the syrupy thing. This nice smooth bitter. If that's an if that's like a thing, it's good. I'm actually excited about this one. Let's add a little bit of milk. That's good. Give it a little mix. Yeah, I can definitely drink this one, guys. What? Palermo Cazar, and I have the whole sleeve. That's awesome. Okay. Maybe it just has to be a really good, like, heavy roasted capsule for me to like it, because this is really good. Let me put a little bit of 
pistachio. It's just gonna be like a dash because it's a small cup. This is the Tarani pistachio. I haven't tried the Monin one, but I do want to try it. Okay. Oh my god, this is so good. Holy moly. This is really good. I have a pistachio latte video here on my channel. If you guys have tried it and you have the original line and have and like Palermo Cazar, I think you guys would enjoy it with this capsule. It is really good. I never thought I'd be saying that. Palermo Cazar has always been like a capsule that I look at and I'm like, no, it's actually pretty good. What? This makes me feel like I have high hopes for Napoli. Here is Napoli. And funny story, I didn't have Napoli at all. And I remembered them always offering as a sample. So what I did, I just restocked on some of my pods and I asked for a sample because I didn't want to buy the whole sleeve. Um, and it's funny because the one that it comes with as well as Inspiracione Venezia, which my dad likes this one. And so it's a win-win. Okay, so this one says, inspired by Naples' dark roasting method, this velvety coffee has a uniquely intense aftertaste. Uh, okay. Intense aftertaste. Just checking to see if this has anything. No. Okay, so let's see what the website says. Okay, so level 13. Napoli is a dark and creamy pod that you can use as ristretto or espresso cocoa intensely roasted same thing high roast high bitterness high body inspired by the capital of coffee reveals the deep rooted roasting traditions of naples so its depth of character should come to no surprise it's a velvety creamy cup with an extremely thick body and pleasantly bitter cocoa notes all right let's try it Intensely roasted. I'm not gonna say that it's like in as intense. Like I feel like I was expecting more. Let me fix this. But it's definitely spicy. This one smells similar to the Diabolito one. All right, let's taste this. Oh, it's very, okay. At first I thought it was gonna be similar to Kazar, but it's more similar to the abuelito. Oh, let me try it again. <coughs> no, oh no, I don't like this one. Oh my god, I almost want to throw up. Okay, sorry, I didn't even do a close up of the milk pour, but let's try it. I vaguely remember somebody telling me that. Oh, the milk definitely like calmed the bitterness down but i vaguely remember somebody saying that napoli i can't remember what capsule she said and i'm almost positive that it was napoli that it gave her like a really bad um stomach ache to the point where she threw up i think i i don't know if you're uh if you're the one that told me that let me know if <laughs> that's what it was okay let's try it with milk oh my god milk definitely transformed it like all together the abuelito i did not like with milk so much but this one definitely good and you know what it has a slight nutty taste for some reason i kind of want to taste it with french vanilla let's give it a little bit of french vanilla oh. let's just give it a little mix oh what does that taste like It tastes like something. I mean, I should just drink it. Oh my God, that is so weird. Let me tell you what it tastes like. Hold on. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it. With French vanilla, it tastes like the Lucky Charms 
cereal. Have you guys ever had that? It's been a while. Holy crap. I don't know what it is, but it reminds me of that cereal. And honestly, it's really good. It's really good. It is so good. Okay. So, after trying all of those coffees, I would have to say Diabolito, definitely not it. Not it. Not ordering it, not repurchasing it. I'm glad I tried it because now I get that out of the way. Um, but definitely the winner is Palermo Cazar with the pistachio syrup. It was so good. And then Napoli wasn't that bad with milk. Without milk, it was it was awful. But it tastes like Lucky Charms. I think my throat. Okay, maybe I want to throw up. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I was all over the place. But, but honestly, I just wanted to do something like fun. Just to try out those strong capsules if there are other strong ones that you want me to try leave them in the comment section below or any other pod that you feel like i should try that haven't before i go um this week i already said it on instagram but next week starts my fall content and so the first video that you guys are going to see is my fall redecorate for my my coffee bar so everything is going to be fall inspired i already have i don't know if you guys can see but the this side of my coffee bar is housing everything that i bought so far and i'm super excited so that's the next video that you guys are going to see an updated coffee bar fall edition and then after that i'm going to have recipes for fall and um pumpkin everything okay so just be ready if you guys like fall as much as i do then this is going to be the content to not miss so yeah that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye